In this video, I will provide you with a little more information on how in the heck you figure out a chimney height. And uh, most of the time, most building codes are going to be 10 foot away from the chimney, 10 foot to the any point. So this would be 10 foot on, a, for this particular example here, we would use a 10 foot straight edge level across, make a mark on the chimney, and then go two feet up. So two feet is the minimum. It can be taller, it just cannot be smaller. So the top of the, of the chimney flue to the leveled point on the roof needs to be a minimum of two feet. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. What if we have a chimney near another building? We're not going to be able to use, or another section of the building, we won't be able to use this rule. It's 10 foot around the perimeter of the fireplace. And, and this could actually include your neighbor's property, and you would need to verify that with your um, local building department. An example of that would be, let's say you have a single story home and you're eight foot away from your neighbor's home, but it's a two story. Um, then this could actually create problems for the drafting on the chimney. And that's actually what this is. I, from what I gather, it allows um, 10 feet allows space. If air is traveling around the roof, it actually will help pull the air um, out of the chimney. Uh, my best uh, guess on that. Uh, again, I'm not an engineer, but I'm for sure as heck am not a uh, physicist or whatever you would need to qualify for that. So again, you would have to straight edge from the nearest point, 10 foot away, and then go up the two feet. So I hope that makes sense. Now, what if you have a chimney near a, the roof ridge? Here's another common scenario. You wouldn't need to go 10 feet, obviously. You would just need to go to the highest point and then level across and then go two feet up from there. Here's something you need to consider, and that would be the pitch of a roof. The steeper pitched roofs are going to require taller chimneys. Now, if you do have a steep pitched roof, you might want to consider relocating the chimney. And, you know, for example, let's just say that this is a living room here at the corner of the house and you have a wall, um, the living room is let's just say 14 feet and then 14 feet, 14 feet. You could always move the chimney in side and relocate it. And then what this would allow you to do would be to use the roof structure, the roof framing, the ceiling joist to help provide you with additional support for a tall chimney. Now, if you don't uh, relocate the chimney, you might need to use some type of bracing and uh, you see this every once in a while. There'll be a tall chimney with a brace um, attached to it from the roof and uh, sometimes there'll be a metal band going around the chimney that these metal braces will attach to. So, okay, that is it for the video here. It is off to the next one. Do not forget if you like these videos, it's always greatly appreciated to hit the thumbs up button and tell your friends, tell everybody you know about our channel. And um, we're also on Facebook now, so you can always go to our main page, homebuildingandrepairs.com. I have a little Facebook symbol up there. Feel free to click on that. And uh, I'm hoping that the Facebook channel will become something that everybody can uh, get a little more interactive on. Um, I know a lot of people that watch these videos are interested in the information I have, but um, there is also a lot of information out there that you people have, engineers and builders who watch this channel, that uh, you could share with other people also. So it is off to the next video.